Hi, my name is Richard Armitas. I've been attending Crossroads for about 13 years now. Um, I used to attend a different church. Uh, it used to be pretty far for us to drive. Uh, my son was just born, um, trying to get involved in the church, uh, be a growth group, lifelines, uh, men's uh, meetings. Um, it got difficult trying to travel with the newborn, um, kind of late in the evening, getting home late uh, with the newborn crying in the car. And uh, we've always been uh, lived in the neighborhood and we passed by here every day and one day uh, something told us to stop by so we came in and uh, we were greeted at the door uh, miss nancy miller i remember coming up and hugging me and uh, kind of uh, felt kind of funny weird i wasn't used to to uh, the that tight knit of a group uh, at a church yet um, that was real different that kind of caught our eye um, we had been coming for about a month uh, we missed a sunday um, and the very next Sunday, uh, we had people questioning us like, hey, where were you at? We missed you guys. Um, where were you at? And kind of felt like a, like a family, like a home. Um, so we came here, we started coming to church. Um, my kids started coming to daycare here um, and uh, we started attending church. Um, and, and more and more, uh, my relationship with God grew as I started to, uh, to learn, dig deeper in the word. Um, and, and also Lifeline, so Lifeline was a big, a big deal for me um, and my wife. Uh, being able to communicate with other, other like-minded Christians um, about anything, uh, real life stuff that we were going through. If the Bible study was on parenting, um, you know, we could ask questions to those parents about how they did uh, biblically, you know, what did they do with their parents, I mean, their kids, their children, um, bounce questions back. Um, I know uh, recently, probably about three years ago as well, uh, being a part of a lifeline, um, I had uh, I had some, some struggles with my with my job. Um, and uh, being so close to the family that I have through the lifelines, I had people that were able to pray for me um, when I was going through that hard time. Um, my pastor prayed for me, Pastor Lee, he was there for me. I was able to talk to him and communicate with him um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, where I'm not saying you can't do that any, anywhere else, but the, the kind of uh, the lifestyle here at Crossroads with like meeting people and getting out, not just coming to church on Sunday, um, coming to the lifeline, getting to know people, and not just getting to know people just to know them, um, getting to know them spiritually, um, praying for them, having them pray for you, um, just trying to be there for each other, for, for one another, going through any kind of life situation. Um, that you go through struggling hey even when you're even when you're doing good um, you know they, you get still get encouraged from pastors and people from your lifeline like you know even though things are going great you know you still got to give thanks for that and be thankful for everything that, that, that uh, is going on you know praise them in, in you know at the bottom of the low bottom of the bottoms and the, in the, in the valley as well um, but crossroads has played a big part in um, in my family um, you know, once I started coming to Crossroads and growing uh, as a Christian, um, getting involved in Lifelines, getting involved with the men's ministry, um, helping out with the children's ministry when I, when I first got here, um, just being able to help out in any way that I could, you know, and, and growing. Um, and I think Lifelines and, well, back then they were called growth groups, Lifeline and growth groups, just getting getting deeper involved with the, the people, with the body, not just coming to church on Sunday, like I said, uh, Get involved. You get to know people's story. Get to know where they're from, what they're doing. What's you know, so you can pray for people. Um, and uh, I just think it's it's a really it's really great uh, to be involved. To get involved. Don't just come to church on Sunday.